checking the IGBT output transistors on the E, G, H, R, U, and W housing F5 drives. If it is suspected that one of the power stage components has failed, these tests can help confirm this. First, disconnect power to the drive. Lock out the main supply and allow DC bus to discharge. Then remove all the wiring from the terminals that are to be measured. You can also remove the keypad and the lower panel covering the terminal labels. Use a multimeter that has diode checking functionality and select it in order to take voltage drop measurements. When making the measurements, ensure that good contact is being made between the meter leads and terminals for a steady, accurate reading. It may be necessary to tighten the terminals to achieve this. The IGBT output terminals are identified with the labels U, V, and W. Measure the positive side of the IGBTs by putting the negative black lead of the meter on the positive plus plus DC bus terminal and the positive red lead on the U phase terminal. Next, take the positive red lead of the meter and measure the voltage drops at the V and W phase terminals. The measured voltage drop should be approximately 0.3 to 0.4 volts on the E, G, and H housing drives and 0.2 to 0.4 volts on the R, U, and W housing drives. Next, reverse the meter leads and put the positive red lead on the negative minus minus DC bus terminal. Then put the negative black lead of the meter on the U phase terminal. While leaving the positive red lead of the meter on the negative minus minus DC bus terminal, Measure the voltage drops at the V and W phase terminals. All three measurements should be approximately the same. The measured voltage drop should be approximately 0.3 to 0.4 volt on the E, G, and H housing drives, and 0.2 to 0.4 on the R, U, and W housing drives. If any of the measurements show a reading of 0 volts, this would indicate a short circuit. If any of the measurements show a reading of OL, this would indicate an open. If the voltage measurements show a reading much lower or higher than expected values, this would also indicate a failure. It is important to note that in some cases, a component failure will not necessarily be detected by a voltage drop measurement. For example, a blown IGBT can still measure a proper voltage drop. In cases like this, you would have to rely on other indicators like blown mainline fuses or drive errors associated with component failure. An example would be E.OC overcurrent errors, which could indicate a shortened IGBT. Contact your controller manufacturer or KEB America for further troubleshooting and repair assistance.